Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. I had a question about making megaphone sort of effects for vocals. I'm gonna look at my go-to option as well as some options or some of the plugins that you could use that come with Reaper. So let's start off listening to the clean vocal. Funny how people think a smile means everything's all right. That what's shown on the outside is the same thing that's inside. My go-to plugin is Futzbox by McDSP. By just browsing the presets, you can get stuff that's pretty close. So this is the telemarketer issue preset. Funny how people think a smile means everything's all right. What's great about this plugin is that there's all these different speaker uh, emulations. So I could actually go for a megaphone effect, which might not even be better. Funny how people think a smile means everything. Some of these other ones are pretty interesting, like the, uh, the toy speaker, a speaker from a toy. Funny how people think a smile means everything. Or an old cell phone. Funny how people think a smile can adjust the filters, make it even more extreme. Everything's all right, that what's shown on the outside. And add noise to it. And change the saturation type. So that's my go to option. It's a paid plugin. It's usually about $100, but it goes as low as $66. It's a very handy tool uh, for more than just vocal processing. It's great on drums and all around anytime you want to mess stuff up. Versatile distortion and it does what it does really well. But there are options within Reaper's own plugins that are pretty useful. So starting off, we have to have an EQ and the more extreme, the better. So lots of the lows cutoffs is pretty much everything below 1K cutoff. Got a little bump at 2K and then I'm rolling off some of the highs. Let's hear it with just the EQ. means everything's all right that what's shown on the outside is the same thing that's inside and then i've got two different distortion options i've got the fuzz distortion and i have the wave shaping distortion both of these are going to really increase the volume so i'm also going to put on a compressor I've got this set up sort of like a de-esser it's only doing the upper range of frequencies it's supposed to be kind of a harsh effect. It makes it really stand out in the mix, but this just kind of manages that. So let's look at the first distortion, the fuzz distortion. Funny how people think a smile means everything's all right. That what's shown on the outside is the same thing that's inside. Okay, and the wave shaping distortion. Funny how people think a smile means everything's all right. That what's shown on the outside is the same thing that's inside. So just with these effects, uh, stuff that's included with Reaper, you can get some interesting distorted vocal effects. Maybe not authentic sounding, um, Footsbox gives me a lot more options, but if you're just looking for something that kind of sounds bad, it's a good starting point. Something else we can do, we can use Reverb, uh, Reaverb plugin on top. Set this to zero latency, wet, and let's load in a speaker emulation. So here's a microphone on a cabinet, uh, Marshall 4x12 or something like that. And let's just make sure that this isn't too loud. So 18 dB gain. Funny how people think a smile means and without. everything's all right. That what's shown on the outside is the same thing that's in. 
inside. And that actually works a lot better. So with a good guitar cabinet impulse response collection, you can get a lot of different sounds and they make things like this sound a lot more believable. So there you go, lots of different options here. I think if you're looking for a megaphone effect, it's not that difficult of an effect to make. It's just a matter of narrowing the frequency response, possibly boosting a few frequencies to make it a little more aggressive. Running that through a distortion, that's just going to intensify everything that's there, including the noise floor and everything. And then possibly compressing in a narrow frequency range just to tame the harshness then running it through a speaker emulation, such as uh, impulse response running in reverb. So guys, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more.